This is a test stand for measuring the rotary inertia of a tire wheel and brake drum assembly. It's constructed out of simple materials. It's far from sophisticated, but it works well enough for the average drag racer or street racer. There are Timken bearings located at each end of the shaft. The bearings were left over from a transmission rebuild. The shaft itself is just a one and a quarter inch OD pipe from an old swing set. Fabricated out of some small angle iron, a mounting bracket to hold the wheel. As you can see, the brake drum is attached along with the wheel and the tire. Tires off of my 65 Mustang. And what I have is, is simply a water bottle of a known amount of weight of water hanging from a string that is wrapped around and taped to the tire. I have a yard stick so that I have a known distance of three foot that I'll let the bottle of water drop through. And the test is conducted by winding the string up around the wheel until the bottom of the bottle is at the top of the yard stick and then letting go of the wheel letting the uh, bottle drop and with a stopwatch timing how long it takes to reach the ground. Knowing the distance that it travels the time it took to get there and the weight of the water uh, allows the calculation of the moment of inertia of the tire and wheel assembly. And here is the experiment in, in operation. Took a half pound of water, three seconds to drop three feet. Given the radius of this tire, uh, that equates to a moment of inertia of about one foot pound per second. Previous estimates based on information I had found on the internet and a software program for calculating rotary inertia had overestimated that to be on the order of 1.7.